<clears throat> okay. Greetings from the University of New Orleans. I'm Samuel Gladden, the Dean of the College of Liberal Arts, Education, and Human Development. And it's my pleasure to meet with uh, former students and alumni who are doing great things and going on to do great things in their chosen fields. Today, I'm visiting with Sam Messier. Sam is a student in the Masters of Urban and Regional Planning program. In fact, Sam was one of two distinguished graduate students named recently at our college-wide Honors Day celebration. In addition to completing the degree in the program, Sam also works as a long-range planner for the Jefferson Parish government. Thank you so much for being here with us today, Sam. Thanks for having me, Dean Gladden. It's good to see you again. Tell us a bit about what drew you to UNO and to what we call the MERP program. Sure. So before I applied to UNO, before I enrolled, I was working in a different career uh, for a number of years. I worked in legal project management and financing, but cities and studying cities had been a kind of lifelong passion, really. So I, um, at some point during the pandemic, decided that I wanted to sort of make that my career and started looking for schools in the area that had accredited urban planning programs. Um, and I found out later on, you know, UNO is the only school in not just the New Orleans region, but the entire state of Louisiana that offers that program. So I got in touch with the director of the program, Marla Nelson, and was really impressed with the kind of academic breadth that it had and the uh, alumni network and the connections with the region. And that um, really drew me to, you know, apply and, and ultimately enroll in MERP. And it's been a, a wonderful experience since, since doing that. That's great. So tell us about some um, experiences that you've had in the program that are especially memorable, maybe some impactful experiences in the classroom or out uh, things that stand out in your mind as exemplifying the excellence of the program and of your experience here? Sure. Well, one of the first things that I can think of, you know, for, for new MERP students who, you know, first start studying urban planning, my first semester, the big thing that stands out in my mind was just the kind of breadth of different experience that, experiences that you could have. So I was in an analytic methods class where I was really on a day-to-day -day basis kind of engaging with demographic data and in spreadsheets um, and in a very kind of quantitative, applied quantitative work. And then I would leave that and go to an urbanism and urban design class that was all about, you know, sort of visualizing changes in the built environment and, and much more yeah. of a sort of visually creative type um, class experience. So I, I think back on that because it was really... I think impactful for me when I first joined the program. One of our projects that analytic methods students enroll in is um, a non-participant or, or take part in, excuse me, is a non-participant observation. So we and a, and a group of other people went out to parks around New Orleans and tried to keep track of, you know, different data about who was going in these parks, how they were using them, what time of day, you know, you might see more people or fewer people. And to me, it was really fascinating because it, it really forces you to think about on a deep level, you know, how people are interacting with their cities and sure. how the actual space of the city shapes that interaction, um, either in, in good or bad ways. Wonderful. And what are some things that you're doing right now in your classes that you're excited about? Yeah, right now, um, one of the big projects I'm involved with uh, is the practicum, which is a sort of capstone project that all students in the program have to, all non-thesis students have to complete. Um, and we've been working for a client, which is a community development corporation in the Lower Ninth Ward of New Orleans, they're called Sankofa. And we're as a class and as a sort of big team putting together all of these revitalization strategies for these two main corridors within the Lower Ninth Ward along Florida Avenue and along St. Claude Avenue. And I'm happy to say I'm part of a, you know, really strong team of students who have put together some really um, strong and interesting proposals for how, you know, this client can help uh, bring about equitable development and and help revitalize part of that um, that part of the city. 
So that's been a really exciting project. Um, in some other classes, I'm also, I'm enrolled in a GIS class right now because I'm, in addition to the, the Merck degree, I'm getting a graduate certificate in geographic information systems. Okay. Um, and so we've had a lot of really interesting projects in those courses, but I'm, I'm involved right now in trying to generate a series of maps showing um, different legally required um, drug-free zones within, uh, I'm doing Jefferson Parish, um, but there's a, um, there are a series of state statutes that sort of stipulate that within 2,000 feet of certain types of properties, they're designated drug-free zones, um, and you can visualize that, you know, on a map, which turns itself into, you know, sort of a nice, a nice student project. That's great. I often hear faculty and students in your program talk about being in New Orleans as a great cultural laboratory for the kind of work that you're doing. Talk a little bit about how New Orleans is a great place for this kind of study. Yeah, I think it's not just my opinion, but you can go, you know, all around the country and talk to people about, you know, what some of the most interesting cities in the U.S. are, and New Orleans is always going to come up. You know, it's an absolutely fascinating city. It's a, it's a really diverse, rich city with with a you know strongly held sense of place and culture. And all of those ingredients are exactly, I think, what urban planners should keep in mind because many of them are the sort of successful ingredients to good cities, good neighborhoods. You know, how do you make people love the place they're they're living in? Um, and I think for that reason, you know, anyone considering studying urban planning should consider UNO, should consider coming to New Orleans because it's it's in really a wonderful place to study, you know, all aspects of um, of cities and urban development. That's great. And you will leave here with two graduate level credentials, the master's degree, and then also the certificate that you mentioned in GIS. So you're leaving here with, uh, with two uh, accomplishments that will speak volumes about the kind of work that you've done and the kind of expertise that you've developed. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sure. So if you could offer some words of wisdom or insight to current students and potential students who are thinking about the Merck program, what are some things you might tell them? I would say, you know, first of all, get involved with the program and with the kind of planning community in New Orleans as much as you can. Uh, because I mentioned it's the, you know, it's the only planning program in the entire state, pretty much all of the planning talent here and across the state either knows of UNO or has gone to UNO. Mm -hmm. uh, I think then that creates a really rich network that you can tap into of people who, you know, have be, maybe had the same professors or the same classes and who want to kind of help you out and succeed. And one of the ways you can do that is through graduate research assistantships. Uh, the program has a number of them. I was I started at Jefferson Parish uh, as one and then ended up getting hired on directly by the um, planning department. But I think that's a great thing that people can do. Um, and the other thing that I would say to students is that I did it and you can do it too. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for your time today, Sam. It's good to see you. Thank you so much, Dean Gladden.